What's up guys, welcome back. It's Friday, happy Friday. Um, I had a good day today. Went out with my lady to the movies, went to eat, came to the house and relaxed for a bit. Now it's Friday night, it's 5.50, we're about to head out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be drinking my Zoa. Um, shout out to Joe Easy, cause he, um, Joe Easy delivers, he drinks Zoa too. Joe Easy, you seen this one before? This is the, the 12 ounce. It gives me somewhat of an energy when I like the other one. I like the other one better. But yeah, we're about to head out, guys. Let's see if we get an order. All right, guys, so we're parked at Publix right now. Um, this is the first time in a long time that I drove over here and I didn't get an order before I parked. Um, but I don't have DoorDash on. I'm about to turn on right now. I like to give, um, you know, I like to give Instacart a chance to throw me something first before, you know, before I turn on anything. Grubhub stays on regardless, unless I'm doing a long order, but it stays on regardless. So here we go. Uh, it's not no hot spots around here for DoorDash, so I pause DoorDash for a bit. That's why I start throwing those 225 orders for like freaking 14,000 miles. Um, so we're gonna sit here and wait. It's a little cold today here. We're in the 50s, and it was raining. That's why I got the hoodie. You know what I mean? Gotta stay prepared in Florida. I learned that. Keep a hoodie in the vehicle, cause. It could rain out of nowhere. It could drop to 50s, even though, you know, growing up in New York, you know what I mean? We got cold weather over there, Buffalo and stuff, but over, I'm not used to it no more. So when it gets cold, I got to put the hoodie on, man. So we're going to see if we get an order, guys. It says right here, you got priority access. <laughs> you have priority access. Shoppers have a higher chance of seeing batches from the highlighted stores. Estimate 5 to 15 minute wait. You know, it's been like that forever. But yeah. I'll be back on the first order, guys. As I'm sitting here, I noticed I was looking through, decided to look through my Friday um, shifts and how much I make. The past few months, I don't really make much on Fridays. And I've never noticed that. You know, I've been lacking on keeping track of days. But all my days are usually good. I guess I do so good during the week that when the weekend comes, I don't acknowledge it. And the numbers are horrible on Fridays. Like, I got to handle that. I got to fix that. Um, I definitely you guys should look out to your numbers and you know study your area and study your days you know for Friday you know it's it's bad few things been going on um we dropped off a 625 mcdonald's order that went up to 725 for two miles um there was an instacart order that came up for walgreens to go three miles for almost 13 dollars for four items four units and they took it and then when i was at the red light on my way to Publix, because walgreens is across the street it came back up so i snatched it up it's for a regular customer um, they didn't have two of her, three of her items, so I had to, um, I'll give you one second. I had to, um, replace it, but she, she accepted it, and I screenshot the whole conversation. So we go drop it off to her, then Grubhub threw me an order right now to go to a restaurant called Leoncito for $16. Now, the catch is, it's seven miles up, but it's coming back down this way. So what I'm going to do is I accepted it. And once I drop this off, I'll be heading over there. But if I get a DoorDash or uh, Instacart, then I'll drop it. That's just how it is. You know how that goes. So let's go drop it off. I wound up dropping that Grubhub. As soon as I accepted when I got off the camera, they started sending me text after text. It's like Grubhub used to give you like 10 or 15 minutes. Now it's like, so I, um, on the way back as I was going there, I was passing my Publix and I got one for $12 for two miles. No, 2.5 miles, sorry. 2.5 miles for $12 even for four items. I shopped it in a minute and a half, a regular customer. So, you know, I was going to pick it up, but they were saying they was gonna take it away. So it's whatever. I came out better anyway. Round trip, five miles for $12. You know, 16 is fine, but 14 miles, I'd rather do this one. Let's go drop this off. 
it's been slow for me on Fridays, like I've been saying, but you know what? It's picking up, so uh, 2023. We just dropped off a double order from Winn-Dixie Liquor from DoorDash. So you pay them separate. I never done a double order for DoorDash for liquor order. So it, it gave me the Instacart feel. I don't know if they, you know, they've been looking up Instacart, looking up the way they do their things, but it looks the same thing as Instacart. I'll show you guys um, in the next video when I park. But anyway, it was a double order, and altogether it was about 25 bucks for a total of 4.5 miles. So not bad. So I'm turning my Fridays around today, man. I'm making it happen, making something happen out of nothing, guys. So I'm gonna see you when I park, and I'm gonna show you the screenshot I took of how it's uh, the DoorDash shop and deliver for double is set up. Can you see? B order A and B, and the way you pay is separate. They're doing it just like um, Instacart. That's kind of funny. Pretty cool, but kind of funny too. But um, yeah, we're back at um, Publix, and see if we get another order. I kind of want to call it quits. You know what I mean? But um, we're doing okay right now, so we got to keep it moving, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I hope you're having a great night. Great Friday, um, way better than the ones I've had. I had a few other orders I didn't record. Sometimes, you know, we get in the motion for it that I miss a few orders to record, but it is what it is, man. The money calls, I gotta go. I ain't got time sometimes. But we're on our way, get something to drink, you know what I mean? Relax, kick my feet up, you know, it's Friday. Weekend vibes, you heard? So, uh, I'm thinking tomorrow on Saturday, I'm just gonna work lunch. I know that um, you guys be saying that, um, well, I've been saying that lunch is not that good during the week, but in the weekends, sometimes it's pretty good. You can catch it at the right time. So tomorrow's definitely gonna just work lunch and Sunday just work lunch. So we're gonna take the weekend easy. Uh, I've been looking about days off. I've had a day off in a while. Um, I was gonna take last Tuesday off that passed, but I wound up working. So that didn't work out. So I've had, I put in a lot of days. So it's time to give the vehicle a rest, you know? It's about that time. You gotta give that vehicle a rest and give yourself a rest, man. Pat in the back, relax yourself, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm gonna do this weekend. Just, you know, work lunch a few hours, 12 to 2, 2.30. Unless there's promo, if there's promo, we'll go in the morning try to get it over with for Instacart. Um, other than that, you know, just relax and probably next Tuesday, we're definitely gonna take the whole day off. That's what I'm thinking most definitely. So, hope you guys subscribe, hit the bell notification so you won't miss a video because you know I've been coming through a lot lately. So, comment down below, how was your night? You know, if you work nights, how was your night? How's lunch in your area? I uh, hope you guys stay blessed, man. Stay safe out there. And I'm out.